Here we have a 2018 18-plate BMW 520D M Sport. Now it does come with four superb 19-inch alloy wheels in gloss black. And we also have the M Sport badge on each wing as well. Now we do have LED headlights as well as black indigos. M Sport styling kit which includes black front splitter, side skirt extensions, rear boot spoiler and also a rear diffuser. And there's a quick look at another alloy wheel. Now we do have the black window trim as well as a shark fin antenna, privacy glass on the rear, chrome accents on the door handles, and there's a look at another alloy wheel. Now we do have front and rear parking sensors with rear reversing camera, dual exhaust flush with a rear bumper and rear diffuser. Now this vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches, and rear does look superb from every angle. And there's a look at the last alloy wheel. Now if we go to the rear of the car, we will show you the interior. Now we do have coal Dakota leather throughout. We have isofix points, pull down, leather armrest, with two nice size cup holders there as well. And behind the driver and passenger seat, you do have storage, as you can see just there. And in the centre you do have 12 volt connectivity, as well as vents and also storage. Now on the doors we do have BMW individual trim, with ambient lighting underneath, and also electric windows with the coral Dakota leather trim. Now going to the front of the car, there's a look at the driver's front seat. Now again, it is Dakota Coral leather, which is extremely comfortable as well. And now on the doors we do have your electric windows, electric mirrors, where you can do it. Adjust them electrically, as well as a bit of individual trim with the ambient lighting just underneath. Now jumping inside the car, just down there you have your auto lights foot on the brake you do have your keyless start just there so push the button and the vehicle will then start and as you can see it's free from any worn lights on the dash now it's covered just over 29,000 miles and again it's free from any worn lights on the dash now we do have a multi-function steering wheel as you can see just there with cruise control and speed limiter just on the left hand side and then you've got your volume voice commands and modes just on the right hand side as well now if you want to take over the gearbox manually, you do have your paddle shift just behind the steering wheel, just there. Now you do have your auto lights, auto wipers, sorry, just there as well. Coming to the centre, we do have your satellite navigation screen, which is also touchscreen, where you can find your media and radio, where you have DAB, FM, AM, music collection, CD, DVD, Bluetooth audio, and also USB. You also have your communication, which is Bluetooth phone connectivity. Navigation, as you can see, just there. Scroll across, you also have your connected drive, my vehicle and also notifications. Now pop it into reverse, you can see the rear reversing camera just there, as well as the front and rear parking sensors on the right hand side. I pop that back into park. Now we do have different drive modes where we do have Eco Pro, Comfort and also Sport and Individual. Now you can configure individual to suit your preferences of driving. Now when you put it into different drive modes, the dashboard then changes as well. So when you put it into sport, it goes red and has the M emblem in the centre. Pop it into comfort and then it goes white. And then pop it into eco pro and then it goes blue. Now you can also turn this on. So press that button, it's your intelligent safety. But you can have all on, all off or individual. Now coming down here you do have your dual zone climate control which works just as you would expect it to. You also have ice cold air conflicts hot summer days. Now you also have two heated front seat, front seats, so for those cold winter mornings that really does make all the difference. Now, as you can see it works just as you would expect it to. Now coming down here you do have your BMW individual trim. Pop this open, you do have a bit of storage as well as two nice size cup holders and a USB port and 12 volt connectivity just there. And there's the key. Now pop that close again. You can see the BMW individual trim just there. Now this is what you use to control effort apps on the screen if you're not using the touchscreen function. So you have your, your media, phone connectivity, menu, and then you have a map and nav just there as well. Now down here you do have your traction control on and off as well as your driver mode select just there. And also electric parking rate of auto hold and your parking sensors just there. Now coming over here you do have your soft touch lever armrest with a button just underneath there which then you have storage underneath there as well. 
and there's a look at the passengers full Dakota leather seat with extended fly support just down there if you may need it and then you do have the BMW individual trim that goes all the way around this dashboard as well which is a very nice addition to this vehicle now this vehicle is available to take away today with free contactless nationwide next day delivery it's HBI clear comes a fresh service new MOT and we do offer competitive low finance thank you very much for watching Video test drive of this BMW 520D M Sport. Now, the purpose of this video test drive is to show the vehicle drives exactly how you would expect it to. As you can see, I'm not having to fight with the steering wheel to keep it in a straight line. It is going to be straight and true and not veering off to the left or to the right hand side. Now, we do have paddle shift if you wish to take the car into manual mode as well as cruise control and speed limiter on the left hand side of the multi function steering wheel. Now, to activate the cruise control, simply push the button at the top. And then push up and then it'll go to the nearest miles an hour. And then to go up by one, push up very slightly to go up to the nearest five miles an hour, push up to feel a bit of a click and then it'll go to the nearest five. Now the round one taking the left as you would if you're driving this vehicle today. So I'm going to take over the paddle shift now. So I'm coming in fourth, drop it down to third, into fourth, into fifth and then I'm going to let the car take it back over. Now you can also put the car into M and S, so M meaning manual and S meaning sport, by pushing the gear stick to the left. Now to get out of that, you can then push it back to the right and then it'll go back into D. Now we do have a digital dash in front of me, so you can change and go through what settings you have. So currently I have DAB radio on, I can also change the radio station via the screen in front of me using the multifunction steering wheel. Now in the centre we do have a touch screen where we have satellite navigation, Bluetooth media, Bluetooth audio connectivity and again DAB radio. Then when you pop it into reverse you do have your front and rear parking sensors and you do have your rear reversing camera. Now we do have very comfortable full coral Dakota leather front seats and rear seats which you can quite easily do too because you even 400 miles in this vehicle and still get out feeling fresh. Now we do have to be in the individual trim all around this vehicle which is a very nice addition. Now, here at Ars Car Sales, we are a five star dealership. We have three to five star reviews on Google, Auto Trader, and Car Gurus. And if you read through the reviews, our customers really do reiterate the fact how good we are to buy for and how caring of a company we actually are. So, right now, I'm coming up to the industrial state where I'm going to take a right and perform an emergency stop and put it straight into reverse just to show the brakes work exactly how you would expect them to. And the rear camera that you'll see pop up in the centre just there. So, pulling in now, I'll be able to do the emergency stop. In three, two, one. Hard onto the brakes, straight into reverse, no issues whatsoever. And then back into drive, and you can see the rear camera just there as well. There's the front and rear parking sensors there as well. Now, if you haven't answered all of your questions in the test drive and walk around video, please feel free to get in contact with the sales team where they can answer any unanswered questions and also run through some inquiries with you. But that's it for me in this video test drive. We hope to hear from you soon. Cheers.